Simple at first glance, a young capsuleer might mistake the Confessor as just another Tech 3 destroyer, when in fact it is a weapon. A weapon that specializes in any task it is faced with. A weapon that I have the joy of flying for you today. Welcome to today's riding guide, the Confessor. Today we will be looking at perimeter checkpoint and perimeter hangar sites in a class 2 wormhole. Our first site is a perimeter checkpoint. While not ideal for ISK per hour, simply being able to complete the site makes the Confessor a better option than the other Tech 3 destroyers. Note, I entered the site in defense mode to take the first volley by the Sirius Sentry Towers. After entering the site, pull transversal to the right hand side of the closer tower, then proceed to burn with an Aurora engagement range, which in Sharpshooter is 50 kilometers with my current skills. Once within engagement range, swap to Sharpshooter, but not immediately. Wait until the sentries have made their final volley. It allows for safer clears. To increase the speed we can complete these sites, we employ a push-pull strategy to optimize our DPS output as well as relieve our tank. By knowing what optimal range you have and what optimal range your target has, you may position yourself in a way to either push or pull the target towards next spawn. For perimeter checkpoint, second and third wave spawns are located here and here. Mobile tractor unit placement is not the most important, though with a standard tractor unit, Try to place it closer towards the center of the site. Make the unit wait for you, not you wait for the unit. Here, I am starting my push strategy. These cruisers orbit you at around 30 kilometers. By being any closer, and they will burn away from you. I get on the opposite side to push them towards the rock on the far side of the site. That is a reference I use when remembering site spots. By pushing the final cruiser, the next spawn is squarely within multi-frequency range optimizing our DPS by allowing us to stay in sharpshooter mode due to our increased relative transversal. Even I am not perfect when piloting the Confessor. Here, I should have simply started burning towards the second spawn, instead of trying to push the cruiser any further. By optimizing your strategy, you can gain additional seconds on every site, increasing your ISK per hour, as well as making the site even easier to complete. After dealing with the frigates, lastly is the battleship. It has an obscene amount of EHP and takes a very long time to kill. All that's left to do is pull a tight 3,000 to 4,000 meter orbit, load Gleam, and fire away. I'll make a short cut in the video in order to speed up the death of the battleship. And congratulations, you have successfully completed a perimeter checkpoint in a class 2 wormhole. The 
The next site we will be looking at today is a perimeter hangar. Perimeter hangars are far more isk per hour, they are simpler, and frankly, I think they're more fun. A quick start is to immediately approach the large structure. You want the MTU as close to the center of the site as you can get, and since the first targets are going to be frigates, they will be within optimal DPS range the whole time. Here, I orient myself to the upcoming Wave 2 and Wave 3 spawns. You can find those here and here. We are going to be using another push strategy in order to push the cruisers towards our Wave 2 spawn. I was too late in placing my mobile tractor unit. This delayed my push strategy, leaving me with a lot of space between me and the Wave 2 spawn. The Wave 2 spawn is a battleship wave and the incoming DPS is very high. If this makes you nervous, feel free to switch into defensive mode or propulsion mode to reduce the incoming damage. However, the linked fit is capable of staying in sharpshooter mode in this evident. All that is required is that you increase your transversal. I have changed the video to normal speed to better show how to properly push a cruiser. By flying back and forth on the right hand side of the battleship and cruiser, I am able to cause them to fly closer to wave 3 spawn. Show care as to stay within optimal range. After the battleship is dead, I will kill the cruiser trigger while burning to wave 3 spawn. This leaves me with the perfect position to keep high relative transversal on the battleship while being within multi-frequency range of the cruisers. This again shows the potency of the push-pull strategy in these wormhole sites, optimizing my DPS once again to get a much faster clear. Wrapping up this site is going to be another battleship kill, which I will cut in order to reduce the length of this video. From warp in to battleship kill, a perimeter checkpoint can be cleared in 14 minutes with the Confessor, and perimeter hangars can be cleared in just 12. With perimeter checkpoints yielding 12.6 million isk in blue loot, that would net 54 million an hour. Or the perimeter hangar nets 15.4 million isk, yielding 77 million isk an hour. All in all, this Confessor can pay for itself in a measly four hours of gameplay.
That's all I have for you today. This is Brutus Stug signing off and fly dangerous.